In this video, we're going to take a look at the current URL. We're going to see if there is a hash inside of it. If there is, we're going to unencode the message and throw it into the DOM. So to get started, we first need to figure out how we can just take a look at the current URL and determine whether or not there is a hash inside of there. So I'm going to generate a new message right now. So a secret message, hit create, and then visit that link. Now, really importantly, when you paste in that URL, make sure there's only one hash character inside of here. Technically, right now, if we start to generate multiple messages, so notice how I just reloaded the page and I have a hash inside the current URL. If I now generate another message, I get a URL that is going to have two hash characters inside of it. So there's one and there's the other. The reason for this is that every single time that we try to generate a new message URL, we're taking the current exact URL displayed inside that address bar and adding in an additional hash to it. So as we start to generate more and more messages, we're just going to get more and more hashes, which is definitely not what we really want. This might seem like a real big bug, but when we finally implement the final version of our application, this bug is going to fall away because essentially a user is never going to come back to this message part or this generate message part with a hash inside the URL currently. In the final version, if there is a hash inside the URL, a user will not see this form at all. So this is just a little bug that you need to be aware of as we are testing this application. Okay, so I'm gonna, once again, make sure that I generate a message and get just one hash inside the URL like so. If you have more than one, then just go back to the HTML document, generate another message, and throw that link in like so. Okay, so now back on track, how do we get access to that hash right there? To get access to that hash, we can do, once again, window.location. Then inside this object, you'll see that there is a hash property right there. So pretty straightforward, that's how we're gonna get that hash. You will notice, in addition, that there is the hash character at the very start, so that kind of pound symbol. So we need to kind of remove that pound symbol right there and get just the rest of the string, and then decode that from a base64 encoded string into a normal ASCII string instead. So let's go back over to our index.js file and write out some code to do that. Okay, so back over here at the very top, I'll first destructure hash off of window.location. I'll then do a console.log, and remember to go from a encoded hash, or excuse me, an encoded base64 string to a normal ASCII string, we call A to B. Before we pass in the hash to that thing, we need to make sure that we first, however, remove the hash character inside of it. So I'll say hash.replace pound with empty string. Okay, so I'm going to save that. I'll flip back over, refresh the page, and then as long as I do have a hash inside there right now, inside my address bar, I should in fact see my encoded message. I put in some gibberish, so really quickly, I'm going to generate a more meaningful message. I'll say a secret message. I'll get that link, paste it in, hit enter. You might have to hit reload, and when I do so, I see a secret message appear. So that's definitely working correctly. Now that we can get that message and decode it, let's add in some additional HTML to show it inside of kind of this nice looking frame right here. So let's take a quick pause first, however, and take care of generating the HTML for that in just a moment.